What's up, video world? This is B Villa checking in, May the 22nd, I think. I didn't check. So, I was working today, we were weeding, weeding the lawn. Our client had wanted us to remove the, I think it was crab grass, what you call them. Which was pretty much just invading his lawn. It was just all over the place and he doesn't want to throw out any pesticides. Why? Because he doesn't really trust pesticides because he has dogs. Two pups. One rather big dog and another beagle looking dog. I don't know. It's not exactly a beagle. Just imagine a beagle but with no white. That's one of his dogs. And yeah. But the reason I'm making this video is because we got rained out. Right now it's raining. And we'd have to call it a day. What time is it? It's one. So, you know. We did as much as we could while we could. We're gonna have to come back another day to come to finish this job. It's not a big lawn, it's just a lot. If I wanna put in square footage, what was it, 10 by 18 that's left on one side? And then another, what would it be? It's 20, 12? 12? Uh, yeah, 20 by 12. And then, divide that by half because it's a little bit of an edge. I mean, there's a little divide. So, yep, that was it. Ooh, I'm shaking like crazy. I'm in the truck right now. I don't have the camera stabilizer on anywhere. I had to leave it stuck in one car. So my car of choice was the Jeep. That's why I record. Oh. Man, I am loving the progress. I'm at 190. Hopefully I can get my, my haircut today. Why? Because it's getting a little bit out of control. Right now it's just manageable. It's manageable. But the sides is what gets me. They, these things just flare out. Because <laughs> the top is heavy, goes down. But the sides, they get, they're rather light. So they just flare out. It looks like I'm having a look like I'm wearing a helmet or something. I thought I'd take a minute now since we're kind of towards the end of it to talk about my experience with the coronavirus. Coronavirus. Um so back when this started, I first heard about it back in December. I was like, what's up? So since I got out early at work, so I had to go for a run. Even though it was Raining earlier, I don't know if you can tell. It's not just sweat. <laughs> yeah, so I decided to go for a run. And, you know, make some most out of it of a, of a half a day. And, yeah, that's what I recorded. And it can't stop. We're on a way, we're on a mission. <sighs> so, this is my boy Duke. That's Franklin's girl, Luna. She's 10 months old. Mm -hmm. Duke's three. They used to hate Duke used to hate her as a puppy. We love each other. And look at them now. Love it. It's plain. Yeah. I don't know what it was. I think Duke just hated puppies. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. But he's getting along with her now. More than ever. Better. He would just growl, not get along. Look at Yeah, my boy's four years old. He's pretty much the size he's gonna be the rest of his life. Except for Luna, he's gonna get big. Gentle. <laughs> boy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I forgot to mention Luna right here, 10 month old pup. It's a pit bull, Duke, as you know. English Shepherd. Oh, 
What's up? So I know I have a diet going on, but I think I saved up enough hours, calories, put in enough hours of work, working out, and no calories, so that I can afford to actually start Memorial Day weekend off right with spaghetti and meatballs. What's up everyone? Today is May the 23rd. So Sunday on Memorial Day weekend. And we're keeping it going. So last night was pretty fun. I had a barbecue at my cousin's house, you know, first time in you know months really. Also because of this whole pandemic, you know, the family's kinda timid to to help us go interact this is a they were kind of scared because their dad had like a disease i don't want to mention it but something that that was kind of scary for them to go out or do anything and we've been we've been clean thankfully without any corona in our family the last couple last month this whole month actually our grandparents were where well, you already know but so yeah, hopefully things are going back to normal. Today, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to the firehouse today, and we're gonna, the whole fire department is going to put some flags on their fallen, fallen, fallen brothers, I'll say, who died in the line of service, the line of duty. Firefighters, I'm assuming police officers are gonna be there too. Maybe some military men. But yeah, we're gonna go, to, I'm going to the firehouse first. We're all meeting up there, and then we're making our way over to Dale Cemetery. I think. I haven't. There's two cemeteries here. But, and then we're putting our flags on those gravestones to show our respects. So yeah, let's keep Memorial Day weekend going. It's not just barbecues. Also, gotta, you know, remember, remember why we have this holiday. To appreciate those who we've lost. To remember those who have given the ultimate sacrifice trying to help this country and people and the people of it. Mm -hmm. I hope everyone's having a great Memorial Day weekend as well. And I wish you guys the best of luck. Talk to you in a bit. Our local cemetery. So I finally got the camera holder for my car. Uh, so hopefully it looks better at least, more stable, a tad. But um, yeah, where did I last leave off? So the last thing I recorded was, oh, grave <laughs> flags. So I decided not to film that because out of respect for those who have fallen, yes, I, Still had to drop off flags, put them on each stone. Each each deceased fire member has a marker that has a seal on it. Our is the cataract, so it had its own unique seal. And anyone who's ever been been a member has its seal right next to their right next to the tombstone. And has a every Memorial Day we'll just leave it in there and this is my first time it was actually a little bit nice so you got a list of the graveyard and each section had a certain amount of names that had to be that had to be looked for and have a, fa a flag placed <clears throat> you know, it was very you know I felt very very honored that there's such commitment to the firefighters within our unit uh, there were there were others there too. There was a color guard too. They were uh, I don't know what you would call that. They were also commemorating their fallen soldiers and other war veterans and uh, police departments too. And it's funny that I mean not funny, but it's it's really one more thing I wanted to mention is that this dates back till. I think 1839 
and fire, fire department's been established. So we've been dropping flags off, placing flags for members who passed away over 100 years ago. And I felt very honored to be there and honored that I was a part of it, that I'm a part of it. Right now with Corona, I have to wait for my proper training to actually go in and combat a fire. But it's good to know these little, these little traditions that we do. And I'm, I'm grateful that they welcome me in with open arms and that they're inviting me to do all these, all these little things. All these little things that matter so much to those families. You know, it makes me feel I'm a part of something bigger than just myself. Aside from just fighting fires, we actually have respect to represent that message and I'm glad I'm in it. So yeah. I think I'm gonna call that at the end of this video. So again if you've made it all the way this far into the video I appreciate your support and I hope you stick around to see how much I keep progressing. Again thank you very much generally from the bottom of my heart. If you're watching this thank you. Have a great day. Hope you enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. Tell me down in the comments, what did you do for Memorial Day weekend? Do you have a barbecue with your family, game night, or just enjoy nature or go on a hike? I know our options are very limited, but I want to know. You got creative? Creative with Memorial Day, right? It's a three-day weekend. Today's Sunday, and tomorrow's actually Memorial Day. So let me know how you're going to do it. How are you going to spend it? I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say. Okay, so thank you.